They say you never forget the day your first child was born, and they're correct. But it's got nothing to do with the kid. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. About an hour after the operation, I've been having a little break, getting some air. I come back to the ward, and my wife sat up. She's had a C-section. She's all groggy, and there's a midwife there. And the midwife's like, uh, okay, well, you know, it's a bit dicey, but everything's fine. Um, the baby's in the neonatal unit. She's fine. Bit hairy, but, you know, she's fine. <laughs> But she's born at 33 weeks, now that is early. It's too early to suckle the kind of Maggie Simpson. She hasn't quite got that down yet, so we've got to feed her through a tube for the first couple of weeks. It sounds a big deal, but it's not. We do it all the time. But, however, we do need milk. Now, it's early for the mum, 33 weeks. Hasn't quite got the milk production going, so it's too early to put a pump on her. So, what we like to do at this stage to make the dads feel involved is we give you a syringe. We ask you to get what you can and run it over to the kid. And I was like, fucking me? You want me? Is there not a member of staff here that's trained and know how to fucking milk someone? Is that not a... And they went, she went to a ferry overstretch at the moment and I was like, fucking hell, will the Brexit fallout never end? No one will pick the fruit. No one will drive the lorries. British taxpayers got to milk our own fucking wives. Surely this is a job for the Romanians, if ever there was one. Pavel, come back. There's wives to be milked. It's two months of hard work. You go out and feed your family for a year. Pavel, you'll be drowning in cabbage, please. <laughs> you want a Romanian, man. I don't want a fucking wise guy from Kent milking my old bird. I want a Romanian. They're used to it, the Romanians. They're brawny, you know. That was what it was like under communism. You go to the shops, empty shelves, come home. All right, Hilga, get in the sling. But we fucked it as a country. Tore off our labour source, and so now British people got to step up. Do the jobs we don't want to do. So I went home, got myself an upturned bucket, made myself a milking stool, went back to the hospital. <laughs> now, this ever happens to you, right? You don't have kids, do you? No. This ever happens to you? Quick word of advice. You want to unlearn everything you think you know about boobs, all right? None of this tweaking, twirling, firm grip, yeah? Imagine you've just met your new girlfriend's father for the first time, you know? Good evening, sir! That's the kind of energy you want to bring. Wide open stance, gravity's your friend, okay? I think I'm doing all right, yeah? Uh, about 10 minutes go past and the midwife come back in and she's like, whoa, whoa, jeez, why is she on all fours? Hey! You don't know my wife, she bucks, she rears, you've got to get her in a headlock. Whoa there, good girl, easy, hey there. You want to stay away from the back end, the methane coming out of there is unspeakable. Hey, whoa there, yeah, but why she got a bell around her neck? Listen, there's a lot of mothers in this unit, I don't want to milk the wrong fucking one. 